It's Wednesday, January 20th, or as I like to call it, Wacky Wednesday. <laughs> Jack, that's a horrible intro. You're welcome. <laughs> this is Netlink Daily. Microsoft has just announced that it's issuing a recall. The product in question? The power cables for the Surface Pros. The reason for the recall is because of an overheating fault found in older models. Reports of overheating have been received by Microsoft. According to a statement from the company, if the cables are sharply or repeatedly bent or tightly wrapped, they are prone to overheating and as such could pose a fire hazard. However, this issue doesn't seem to affect the newer Surface Pro 4s. Microsoft has not gone live with the recall, but rest assured if you do have an affected cable, instructions on how to get a free replacement should be out soon. Leica, the German camera company, has come out with a new camera. It's the Leica XU. What's so special about it? Well, it's shock resistant, shatterproof, dust sealed, and waterproofed up to a depth of 15 meters. Nice. It's got a 16.5 megapixel APS-C sensor, but for video, you only get 1080p or 720p at only 30 FPS. This is quite the departure from the normal cameras they make, but of course, there's the price. The Leica XU is $2,950. Last September, Google released Bratly, an open source compression engine that's superior to other compression standards. Well, why is this important? Google will be bringing Bratly into their Chrome browser. This will help with reducing data usage and improving load times. The algorithm is capable of reducing the size of a file up to 26% more than previous compression engines. People who use Chrome Canary already have access to the new engine. For everyone else, Bratly will be coming to desktop and mobile with its next update. Faster loading times? Yes, please. Welcome to Smalltalk. The BC government revealed plans to add computer coding in its school curriculum. Students from kindergarten to grade 12 will have a chance to learn the basics of coding. Electronics company AOC introduced the C3583FQ, a 35-inch ultra-wide curved free sync monitor with a max refresh rate of 160 hertz. Minecraft, the education edition, will cost $5 a year, but students will be able to play outside of school without paying. OnePlus is teaming up with Henchman, a London-based courier on January 21st to deliver a new OnePlus phone to the customer in under an hour, or the phone will be free. Free! And Tesla is saying that the Falcon Wing doors on their SUV, the Model X, were botched by the supplier. They're saying that the doors do not open with the speed or symmetry that Tesla required. Sources for all of today's stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. Can I have a cookie with some crumpets and tea? <laughs> no? No, not, not good enough. I don't think they say tay. No? Crumpets and tea. Really? Spot, Let us know. A spot of tea. A spot of tea? Tay. Tay. Maybe. Tay. You said tea. Spot, spot it, it's, I feel like it, maybe it's spot in the middle. Tea. Okay, so we might not have any cookies to give away, but for the month of January, we are giving away an AMD FX8350 CPU. That's right, all you have to do is subscribe to our weekly newsletter for your chance to win this prize. Unfortunately, this is only for the US and Canada. But if you're already subscribed to the newsletter, you can just claim at least one bonus newsletter point and you'll be automatically entered. So you can click here or down in the description for more details. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here to watch previous videos. Our Twitter handles are over here if you wanna give us a follow. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go petition to make every Wednesday a wacky one. <laughs> Jack, that's still horrible. Love it. <laughs> Great. Back Wednesdays. Let's make it out. <laughs> you the best.